Thanks very much. Um, this is partly a comment and partly a, a question, possibly partly a criticism. Um, as before that. Reverting to Plotinus, as I do. Um, insofar as the descent or emergence of soul into the world we inhabit is treated as a fall, he's quite explicit. It's because we got tired of being together. We got bored with it. We wanted each our own way. We gradually absorbed ourselves into our own particular fantasies and romances, uh, forgetting the real world. Uh, so absorption into a current qualia is indeed a, a mistake. Um, the way back is not really through uh, examining our priori propositions. He's quite no, explicit. No, 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 no. He is quite yeah. explicit about this, that uh, it's through discovering realities. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, no, the, 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 div yeah. the divine intellect um, uh, contemplates not propositions, but beauties, realities, uh, which we approach. Well, how would we approach it? Well, the wise men of old, he says, uh, produced images, um, quite public images, and in the intent that these should come alive to them, as he says, attract soul. They should come alive both in our perception, such that we were gradually awakened to the reality that we are all in it together. Um, and that that's what reality is. He says it's a sphere of all faces, shining with living faces. Uh, and this does not involve um, abstractions at all. It's, uh, nor does it quite involve, though I'm here, I'm closer to Paul. Uh, it doesn't quite involve, it doesn't involve going to sleep like that. When, when one says one, become, one becomes unconscious, the normal um, association is that we go to sleep. Well, that's, I mean, as, as you know, I'm sure, they, there, there, is a, there is a version in, in Hindu thought that uh, uh, it gets progressively better as you go to sleep. In, first it's dreaming sleep and then there's finally dreamless sleep and that's absolutely it. That's the, the point you should reach. Uh, and you know you've reached it because you know when you wake up, you know that you were asleep. You know that you were evacuated of all these distractions for once in your life. Now, I, I, I'm not sure that's... I don't find that a helpful metaphor, I have to say. But, uh, um, so, the return to reality, uh, leaving off our personal obsessions and fantasies and the way things look to us, is not falling asleep. It is, it is waking up and finding that reality is quite enough. But it's, it's done by, it, it's not done only, there, there are arguments in Latinas, very, very powerful arguments, but it's not done through arguments especially. It's done through uh, yeah. all manner of getting your attention. Yeah. What is beauty, he says. What is the beauty of beautiful things? It's their reality, yeah. that they are real is yeah. the beautiful, and you discover it by, or at least yeah. you start by discovering, by shutting your eyes. Yeah. And that sounds, well, enclosed. Yeah. But you shut your eyes and open, he says, another way of seeing, which everybody has, but nobody uses. And you can actually take that absolutely literally. And I do, in the days when I was lecturing to my students, I would occasionally say, look, follow that instruction. Do it. Close your eyes. Nobody ever does. They all sit there staring. You're doing it now. They all sit there <laughs> staring. Um, close your eyes. Notice that you're real. You're real. You're sitting in a chair in a world. The world's going around the, the sun, all the rest of it. It's that kind of awakening he's working towards. Anyway, I'm sorry. I better shut up.